Hi guys, welcome to Facebook Live. Uh, I'm your host Rose. <laughs> and I'm your host Lauren. And today we're going to be talking about Penn Foster programs that you can take and graduate from this year in 2021. You could still do it. Uh, but before we jump in and we talk about that, Lauren, do you mind just catching us up on a few do's and don'ts uh, for today while we stream? Sure. So definitely do leave any comments or questions or thoughts that you have in the comments. Um, please share this with your friends if you have friends who are thinking about pursuing a new career or um, maybe working toward a promotion or advancement in their current career. That's really what this is all about today. Um, opportunities to get the skills and education you need to make moves this year. Um, so please feel free to share this out, tag your friends, share, comment, all of that. Um, but don't put any personal information in the comments because of course they are public. Um, if you have any questions for us, we're always happy to talk to you about your goals and how to enroll, what program may be right for you. Uh, you can send a message right to this Facebook page, um, but it's really best if you give us a call. You can call admissions at 1-888-427-6500 and we'll be happy to talk to you about anything that's on your mind. Um, if you are a current student and you found your way here, um, stick around because you know we love to chat. Uh, if you have any specific questions as a current student, you can of course call Student Services at 1-888-427-1000. I think we all notice um, a lot of graduation fever is in the air. We're seeing it in our social feeds. We're seeing signs on uh, people's lawns. People are graduating. People are making progress. And I find it really inspiring. Like, okay, I want to make progress. But you could still become a graduate in 2021. You don't have to wait um, you know, several years to get there. There's plenty of programs that we have that are considerably shorter that can get you on track to a new, new career path. Um, you know, if you decide you want to take a course and and really throw yourself into it, you could definitely have it done by 2021. And we have a whole bunch of fun courses to go over today. Um, so the ones that we're going to be looking at are mostly in healthcare, art and design, and business. Um, Lauren, why why do you think it's worth taking a shorter class or course well, program? <laughs> with the pandemic, there are still a lot of people that are out of work, maybe a lot of you, or you're at a point in your career or with a job that you're in right now that you're just not really interested in continuing. So you want to um, be able to move into a new career. But Degree programs can take a lot of time. They can cost a lot of money. And if you have a family or you're just somebody who needs to be working to make ends meet, like most of us, um, these shorter um, career programs can really help you transition into a new career rather quickly. Um, they will give you that kind of educational foundation and skills foundation without being too expensive in comparison to other courses that are out there um, and just really help you further your career. Also, um, some of these do align with hobbies or interests. So if you're just looking to learn something new um, for fun or because it interests you, um, these are a good option. Or if you're looking to turn a hobby into maybe like a side hustle or like a little extra money kind of career. These could be good options. So we'll be talking through those today. I did just want to mention, of course, in addition to these shorter programs that we're we'll be talking about, we do have over a hundred awesome programs at Penn Foster. Some of them do take a little bit more time, but could lead to you having a rewarding career. So feel free to explore all of our programs on our website, penfoster.edu, or again, call admissions at 1-888-427-6500, and you can ask us about anything and talk to us about any of your goals, and we'll be happy to point you in the right direction. It's a great um, point that you mentioned about the pandemic, because I think it is making a lot of people kind of consider, you know, am I happy? Do I want to do this? Yeah. You know, I think we've all kind of been like stuck 
at home for a year. And now that things are opening up, I think people are really considering what's next for me. And that might mean you, you know, taking a certificate program um, to show your employer that you want to move in a positive direction where you currently are. Or that could mean switch career, switching career paths and um, doing an accelerated training course just to push yourself through and challenge yourself so that you're prepared to step into something new by 2022. So it's a it's just a very interesting time, I think, for a lot of us, uh, if you agree. Let us know how you're feeling in the comments, of course. Um, it's always interesting to find out how everybody's sort of feeling about these times we've all never gone through before. And now that we're opening up again, we'd love to see how you're feeling um, about the changes that are happening all around us, especially in your career like or in um, in where you want to see yourself going. So share your goals with us. Uh, we'd, we'd love to hear them. But let's um, just talk about some of these courses that I think are some of our favorite picks, um, starting with healthcare. Lauren, do you want to go over a couple of really good healthcare programs that can be started and completed by the end of this year? Yeah, so healthcare is one of those really, because of the pandemic, a very much so in demand field right now. There are a lot of job openings. So, you know, with this, just do you want to preface, we'll go over some of our shorter programs that you could take to kind of start working toward a new career quickly. But we have a ton of healthcare programs that do align to those in demand jobs. So please visit our website to check all of those out. But if you're looking to make a quicker move, um, here are some really good programs of ours that you could explore. The first one being a physical therapy aid. Um, this is a program where you will learn to assist physical therapists through basic um, physical therapy treatments like heated therapies and range of motion exercises. Um, and in a job like this, you'd also help coordinate communication between the patient and the physical therapist through great customer service skills. So if you're somebody who has worked in customer service positions before, uh, maybe in a restaurant or in retail, and you're looking to wow. move into the healthcare industry, <laughs> I hear some dogs <laughs> on your end, Rose. Um, this could be a great program and a great career to explore. Um, another career that is hot right now because of the pandemic especially is home health aid. Um, in the height of the pandemic, when people couldn't leave their houses as much, it was really critical that home health care was accessible to people that need it. And that's not going anywhere as we kind of start to reopen a bit more. Um, a home health aid career is great if you enjoy working with people. You can work with an agency and coordinate patient care as well as assist people with basic activity activities for their daily living. Um, this course does also have an externship element so that it will help you gain hands on real world experience that you'll likely want before you dive head first into the job full time. We also have a fitness and nutrition program, so this one could be great as a career or just as a hobby if you're somebody who wants to optimize how you eat, how you exercise, um, or you know maybe be a fitness instructor at a local gym or work with people on their nutrition or work on your own nutrition, whatever it may be. Um, this certificate will help you learn anatomy, physiology, strength conditioning, and nutrition to help you or others build better, healthier lifestyles. You know, it's interesting. I have, a, I've been going to a gym now that we're getting out of the pandemic and um, I need to go to a gym. <laughs> um, but a lot of the trainers there have switched careers in the middle of the pandemic. Oh, sorry about that. In the middle of the pandemic, they switched careers. Um, and I think that's interesting that people started training to become fitness and nutrition experts during the pandemic, because I think it shed a lot of light on the need of that field coming out of the pandemic where people have been, you know, sitting around for a year. So it's, uh, you never know where life's going to take you. A lot of the trainers I work with are like, I had a completely different job last year and I completely switched gears. So I think that's an excellent program. Yeah. Um, on think, that note, what's that? Oh, I was going to say, I think also this year was a weird one for goal setting because you know, typically we might make New Year's resolutions in January 
when we know more or less what's going on for the year. But in January, we had no idea where our communities and uh, jobs <laughs> or lives would be at right. this point in the year because so much has changed. The pandemic just threw everything off. So this is kind of a good point in the year to look again at your goals and figure out what it is that you actually want to be doing. On that note, you can make hobbies into careers. You can have talents that you can make into careers. You don't have to, you know, do something that has like extreme hard skills. You can be creative. You can channel that energy into a career and actually make money from it. So on that note, a couple of art and design courses that you could take by the end of 2021. Uh, computer graphic artist. I think this one's great. Uh, just about anybody who has a website or anybody who has an app or anything digital now needs some kind of graphic artist. You need graphics. You need, you need design on your page. So you can learn to create designs, logos, and more in our program. And as a graphic artist, you have the option to work for yourself as a freelancer, take on projects as you choose on the side, or you can work for a marketing company or business, an agency, something along those lines. So it does uh, leave some great options out there for those people who really love the arts to apply them um, into your everyday life and actually make money off of them. Gourmet cooking is another one. I think a lot of us love cooking and there's plenty of careers with cooking. You can have your own business, you could open your own uh, restaurant, uh, help revitalize your communities. A lot of us have seen things close. This is a great time to jump in there and start opening things again. So cooking is a great way to bond with people, relax and unwind or just show off your creativity because it is very creative. It's, uh, you know, putting all these wonderful things together and making magic and sharing There are it. a lot of restaurant worker shortages as I'm sure you all know right now too. So if this is a career you want to get into, there's a lot of opportunity that wasn't exactly there before. So this could be a good time. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you could turn your hobbies into a career uh, with a gourmet cooking certificate, um, which is, it's just fun to take. I think, I think everybody in some way relates to cooking because we all eat, you know, but it's also a great way to, I think people underestimate just how creative cooking and you're basically designing a meal for people and then sharing it. It's just a very wonderful process. So. There are careers in that. You can finish this program by the end of 2020, 2021 and be on to um, a new career path. The other thing is event planning. I don't know about you guys, but I am seeing a whole lot of new babies, engagements, uh, wedding planning. It seems like everybody went into quarantine and was like, let's take the next step in some direction now that we have time to think about what, what we really want to do and where we really want to go. So events are happening and people need planners for those events. Everybody's opening everything up again and everyone wants to go out and party. It's the Roaring Twenties. So you can enjoy hosting big parties. Um, you can figure out, you could go into business for yourself. Um, you can make side cash with event planning. You can um, coordinate bigger corporate events, things like that. You get a job at a corporation as their events manager. Um, bar mitzvahs, birthday parties, weddings, Baby showers, holiday parties are going to be coming up this year. And of course, like I said, corporate events, we're going to start seeing a lot more of those happening again where those were on hold. Uh, everybody wants to play catch up and they're going to, we're going to need people who can get back in the saddle and do that event planning. Uh, we only took a little break from events, but we are now back in action and we need pros to help us. So it's a great, that's another great program that you could take this year. Rose, something you mentioned in event planning is it's a career where you could run your own business. And I think right now, as so many of you are thinking about what you really want to do with your career, being your own boss is <laughs> enticing for sure. Um, so for anyone that has thought about maybe starting your own small business, we do have a small business management course. So this falls into kind of like the business section of uh, today's programming and in our uh, program list that we're talking about today. Um, our small business management career diploma can help you learn to write business plans, prepare budgets, how to develop marketing plans and start a small business and give you some credentials to back up what you're doing and um, hopefully a little more confidence to uh, really kick off that small business uh, dream of yours, knowing that you'll have some skills and knowledge to help you along the way. 
Um, some other business courses that you can take uh, tax preparer. Everyone needs to file taxes every year. This is a job that is not going anywhere. And as you all know, taxes are very complicated to do. And for people like business owners or people in special circumstances, especially these can be super complicated. So um, this is definitely a job that will always be needed. Um, this is also a great job if you're looking for some seasonal work um, yeah. for a boost. So say next next spring, you want to make a little bit a little bit more money. You could be doing um, people's taxes for them and make some side cash. So it yeah. can be either a, a job or it can be something that you do on the side. Yep, and then the last one that we want to talk about with you all today is hotel and restaurant management. Um, like we were saying before, careers in hospitality got really mangled during the pandemic with things shutting down. So there is a lot of movement in those jobs right now, a lot of job openings. If this is something that you're interested in, now is definitely the time to seize those uh, opportunities and um, really work your way toward a career in the hospitality or restaurant industry. So our career diploma in hotel and restaurant management can help you build on your um, experience that you have through foundational understanding of management and what it takes to run a successful hotel or restaurant. You could combine that too with a small business. Um, you know, if you really wanted to, to have yourself uh, completely build up built up to start a business and be start off on, on the right foot. Obviously, it would take you more time probably uh, than completing it in 2021, but it's possible because the thing about Penn Foster is you can learn at your own pace, especially our career programs. Um, some of our college courses kind of, you have to take a little bit more of your time with them, even our high school, but career courses, you can really, if you are motivated, you can really crank through a lot of those um, and you know, learn at your own pace and there's no breaks. You don't have to worry about like, oh, there's Labor Day, so you can't study today or there's a Christmas break, so you can't study. You can work whenever you want straight through, uh, which I think is really awesome because we all have different times we like to study and we all have different days we want to ourselves. So it does work out really well. And don't forget, if you are currently in a career, you could be a Penn Foster graduate and you feel like you need a boost uh, on your career path. We have tons of programs on our website, penfoster.edu. Check them out. Um, there could be an offer going on right now to help you save some money when you enroll. So just keep an eye on our webpage. See if you can gain some new skills for your resume and uh, start making moves. Yeah, and if you want to talk anything through, again, that's what our admissions team is literally there for. So give us a call at 1-888-427-6500. Okay, it was okay. great spending time with you all today. Uh, we hope to see you in two weeks, maybe a little bit less, for our next Facebook Live. Yeah, good luck, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.